Hey guys, it's Yaya. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're making an icy blue pain relief gel. Really excited about this one. It's super easy. It's literally 96% water. Go ahead and take the screenshot of the formula so you can follow along with me throughout this video or if you just want to save it for later. I was really inspired to use some very unique essential oils that can help relieve pain and joint pains, ailments, different things like that. And also one of them gave me this really beautiful hue. So I'm really excited to tell you guys about that one as well. Before we jump into the video, I would like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video and I will give you guys more details later on, okay? So let's go ahead and get started with this icy blue pain relief gel. So like I said before, this gel is 96% water and it really is easy. The only hard part is trying to basically get the essential oils into this formula. Oil and water hate each other. So we have to find a way to get them to combine or else we'll have little beads of essential oil. You guys probably have seen this maybe in your shampoos, your DIY shampoos or your DIY water-based anythings, toners. The water and the oil tend to separate. Even if you shake it, mix it, it eventually it will separate. In order to fix this, you need a solvent. Some of the most popular ones are propendiols. This one is actually a natural alternative to petroleum-based propendiols. Overall, it's just a really great solvent and it will help keep your oils stable inside of the solution instead of separating, okay? So we're using lavender essential oil, wintergreen essential oil, and the blue yarrow essential oil. I'm using the lavender essential oil because it is calming and then it's also just a very beautiful smell to kind of help with the herbal and uh, assertive smells of the wintergreen and the blue yarrow. So one by one, I'm adding each essential oil and making sure that it basically uh, dissolves into the solution. It's really hard to see with the lavender, but you will be able to see it with the winter green and the blue yarrow because they have uh, a little tint to them. So you'll be able to really see how it disperses and evenly uh, distributes throughout the solution. Okay. Um, so yeah, that is basically it. You guys, you definitely need something like this in order to keep your essential oils or whatever oils you're using inside a, a formula that is mostly water. Okay. Now we're moving on to winter green. I chose winter green because of its crazy benefits as far as relieving pain. I really, really have to step up my game when it comes to winter green. I had no idea uh, the benefits it, it, it had to help relieve joint pains and other ailments that you might have almost immediately, you know. So um, it also has a really fresh minty smell. It doesn't really give a cool effect, but it really is beautiful and it has a beautiful color as well. But as you can see, it dissolved. <laughs> the blue yarrow, on the other hand, definitely did not dissolve. It has a very vibrant, uh, potent color to it. Um, and it's a very strong herbal smell. So you only want to use a few drops, um, especially if you're somebody who has sensitive skin. Also, if you have sensitive skin, you probably want to be careful of the winter green. It's very powerful as well. So these are all essential oils that you want to make sure you dilute, which is why I wanted to use uh, mostly water-based gel in order to incorporate these ingredients. So you are more than welcome to add a few drops of any of these essential oils to a carrier oil like a hobo oil or uh, coconut oil, whichever oil works best for you in order to uh, simply <laughs> put it on your skin. You do not have to make a water-based gel. But what I find is that water-based gels are super lightweight. They absorb quickly in the skin and they are super hydrating and non-greasy. So um, I really think they are worth the, worth the benefit, worth the try, okay? So our next ingredient is basically our gelling agent. You only need a dot, literally a dot of this. And the one I'm using is already pre-neutralized, so I don't have to do anything as far as trying to pH, balance my water, anything like that, and I'm gonna get a very beautiful gel. Now you can add this directly into the water, but I really wanted to be careful to make sure that all the ingredients are we're gonna disperse evenly and at the same time. And I really feel like at adding the gelling agent to the solvent first really helped 
with this solution and making it homogeneous. So I really think this is a great step to have if you are not using the other uh, higher quality uh, equipment in order to just easily do this okay because you can do it in a second if you had the equipment to do it but if we're just doing this at home just you know D our regular DIYs for fun then this is probably the best way to do it to get a homogeneous solution so our last ingredient is our preservative I definitely could have went on and add this with the solvent as well you can absolutely do that I just went on and added it to my water so I'm just showing you guys you can do that uh, liquid dermal plus is water soluble so um, if you wanted to get it to dissolve uh the best way to do that is to add it directly to the water okay so now that we have that we're going to go ahead and add our solution to the water and watch the magic happen so when this first happened i was a little scared i was like what's happening <laughs> but don't worry this is basically the gelling agent hydrating it needs to hydrate in order to become a gel at this point, you can easily turn on your high shear mixer or whatever piece of equipment you have and get this to turn into a beautiful gel instantly. But I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do this the simplest way possible and show you guys, even if you don't have equipment, you can make this happen. Okay, you just have to wait for the gelling agent to completely hydrate and you will start to see that it is gelling up beautifully. And what you will also notice is that the color is uniform. There are no little beads of, of oil sticking out or anything like that. And also it's not creating a cream, it's still a gel, but it's a little bit more uh, translucent. It's not extremely clear. All in all, I really love it and I'm super, super happy that I gave it a try. So I'm gonna let this finish hydrating and then I'm gonna come back to it in a little bit and we're gonna see the results. The more I learn, the more I want to create, the more I want to try new things and I'm just really happy I gave this a try and I'm gonna keep trying new ingredients, new formulas and just trying to be as creative as I can be. If you're just like me and you love to learn, you love to create, then Skillshare is definitely for for you. They have an amazing platform for learners, people like you and me who want to be more creative, whether it's in our personal life or to build our business. You guys tell me all the time how you want to grow and expand your business. Well, on this platform, there are classes that can teach you how to video edit, create logos, and also take better pictures to market your your brand or whatever product that you're trying to sell. There are so many topics on Skillshare. When you join this community, you have unlimited access to all of them. You can take as many classes as you want at your own pace and it's super easy to navigate through. And the best part to me is that you're learning from people just like you and me. They are creators, they're experts in their fields, people who are actually working in their field and are highly knowledgeable about that topic. So right now I'm looking into a class by Parker Guard. I thought this would be a great video for my audience because you guys are looking for ways to build your SD shops or build your e-commerce shops and ways to make your brand stand out a little bit more. So he has made some really great pointers on there on ways to make your brand just stand out and be a little bit more memorable. Whether you create for fun or to build your business, Skillshare has a class for you to learn to enhance those skills. So right now, the first thousand of my subscribers who click the link can get a free month trial on Skillshare so that you can learn as much as you want to learn. It's unlimited how much you can learn and how creative you can be. So definitely go check the link down below. The first thousand will get a free month trial. So while the first batch is still hydrating, let's go ahead and make another batch. And this time we're going, we're not going to add the propendial because I want to see what would happen if we, if we try to combine all of these ingredients without the solvent, will the um, oil mix in? Will it separate over time? I really want to give it a try. So all the ingredients you're seeing here are exactly the same, same measurements, except for the water. I added a tiny bit more water to make up for the missing propendial in this formula, okay? But everything else is the same. I just literally added it into the beaker and then um, I'm just going to mix it up with my stirring rod. Um, like I said, equipment will make this so much better. Equipment will probably force it to um, go ahead and be a beautiful homogeneous gel for the time being um, but it will eventually uh, separate this is drastically different from the first batch when we poured the uh, solution into the water it immediately um, reacted and started to 
come together where this one you can clearly see the oil and the water hate each other and this is it has never been more apparent to me that they just do not want to mix together so you have to force them to do it so what i'm going to do now is just literally just take my steering rod and just mix as vigorously as i possibly can to kind of force the oil to uh, disperse evenly Yeah, so I sped this up, you guys, but I promise you, this took forever. It really did not want to mix together. And even when I finally kind of got it to come together, there were still like these little beads of the blue yarrow hanging around that just did not want to dissolve at all. But this is the final uh, product. Um, this one on the left is the one that we added without the propendal and the one on the right is with propendal. There is a huge difference. The one on the right is definitely more homogeneous, it's more uniform, and the one on the left is just like a gel with dots and beads of all in there. But I was able to disperse them pretty well and we got a pretty decent blue color. So this is the one with the propendal. You can just see how well it was combined and how uniform this this one is like it's really really pretty i really like this one and i'm also going to give a demonstration of how it feels on the skin because that makes a big difference too there's a huge difference between the one with and without the propendal you can definitely see that here but not only is it apparent in its appearance it's apparent in the way that it feels i put both of them on my skin to kind of just see how well they will absorb the one with propendal absorbed evenly beautifully it absorbed quickly and it was also very soft and had this beautiful feel to the skin um, it just feels really nice i really love it compared to the one without the propendial it just felt wet like literally it just felt like i put water on my skin um, and right here i'm gonna demonstrate when i mix them in into my skin here the one with the propendial just beautiful if you guys can just see how that is <laughs> it definitely is different compared to this one it's just like wet and it's just like water would not go into my skin it didn't want to absorb this one feels like a beautiful gel like a beautiful cream while the other one just feels like water it just felt like i put water on my skin um and you can see here even after a little while i went back to see if it would absorb it just it just sat there it was just like water on my skin so i don't know if the oil got there first and wouldn't allow the water in it probably created a barrier that wouldn't allow the water in whereas this one because it's a homogeneous solution they absorb evenly together i hope that makes sense you guys because it is definitely apparent very clear uh which one is the better formula this is important because the whole point is to make sure that our essential oils are penetrating and absorbing into the skin correctly so that it can work and relieve the pain. So we want to make sure that our products are doing what we want them to do so that we can reap the benefits of our amazing ingredients. So that's it you guys. I went on and packaged uh, both batches because I want to keep an eye on the one without propendial and see if it will eventually separate or not. So I'm definitely going to monitor it and keep an eye on it uh, even though it already have little bees of essential oil sticking out. Um, I'm going to definitely keep an eye on it but overall I'm happy with both of them honestly. They are both beautiful. I am honestly obsessed with the color. Absolutely obsessed with the color. Um, but the problem is like I said one of them just is not as efficient as the other but it's definitely still very beautiful and it's a it's a beautiful gel absolutely absolutely so anyway you guys thank you so much for watching i really really hope you enjoyed the video um definitely leave some questions comments down below i do my best to try to reply to you guys as much as i can um and answer your questions so i won't be able to get to every single one but i do my best okay so definitely leave your comments and questions down below also thanks skillshare for sponsoring this video so i can bring you guys this awesome content remember to check the link down in the description box so you can get your own free subscription and yeah make sure you subscribe like hit that notification bell because it's the only 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 way you can keep up with the videos i'm coming out with and i will see you guys in the next video bye